Flush Stair Nosing is designed to provide a finished, smooth transition from your luxury vinyl product to any step without any overlap or trip hazard. This video will describe and demonstrate the process of installing flush stair nosing in the most common scenarios. This is not meant to be a complete tutorial on LVT step installation. For complete instructions on how to install LVP on stairs, please contact the Shaw Technical Support Team at 1-800-471-7429. For a standard step, the following recommendations can be helpful to ensure a successful installation of your flush stair nosing. You will need the following to complete the installation. Power miter saw, painter's tape, denatured alcohol, gloves, protective eyewear, a clean rag or cloth, flooring adhesive, a caulking gun, premium urethane construction adhesive, sandpaper, hand broom and dustpan, and a vacuum. Before beginning, it may be necessary to remove any staples, nails, fasteners, or adhesives. Make sure you sweep and vacuum all steps and risers and assure that all areas are clean, smooth, and structurally sound. Flush stair nosing requires that the riser be flush with the step edge. If your steps have an existing overhang, you will need to make some modifications by either cutting off the overhang or filling in the area beneath it. Any modification that you make should be in compliance with local building codes. To begin, carefully measure and cut the nosing to fit. If using riser material, make sure it is either in place or that you use a piece of the riser material as a spacer. After cutting, dry fit the molding to ensure it is sized correctly and place a pencil line on the back side of the nosing. This line will show you where to stop the flooring product installed on the step. If installing many nosings at the same time, it may be helpful to label each accordingly. Next, using the stair nose termination line as a guide, measure and cut the flooring material to fit the step. Make sure that the groove edge of the material is facing the step. Fill in the rest if your step requires more than one plank. When cut, dry fit the entire assembly to ensure good fit and make any adjustments that may be necessary. Fully adhere the flooring and risers on the step using the appropriate Shaw adhesive in accordance with the instructions on the pail. With the riser and step fully and permanently in place, you're now ready to install the flush stair nosing. Start by scuffing or braiding the underside of the nosing with coarse sandpaper. Using sandpaper, abrade the non-printed side of the nosing and remove any dust with denatured alcohol applied to a clean cloth and allow to dry. Apply a liberal uniform bead of a premium construction adhesive such as Loctite PL Premium in an S pattern, the full length of the nosing. Position the nosing close to the edge of the installed flooring and rotate into place. Applying firm pressure, ensuring a flush fit to the stair edge, as well as a level and flush fit against the flooring. Painter's tape can be used to hold the stair nose in place until the adhesive has a chance to fully cure. Although not required, the stair nosing can be installed with finishing nails as well to hold the nosing in place until the adhesive has had a chance to fully cure. If you choose this option, make sure to pre-drill the nail holes, countersink the nails, and fill all nail holes with a coordinating colored caulk. Allow 24 hours for cure time prior to foot traffic. When installing adjacent to floating floors or those areas where you may need to change direction, the process is slightly different. You will use the same procedure in preparing and installing the nosing, except that you must direct glue the plank that adjoins the nosing or a minimum of six inches of flooring. Always use an adhesive and its guidelines that are appropriate for the product you're installing. For this installation, we're using Shaw 1500 adhesive for our corkback product. Note that for any Shaw luxury vinyl plank with an attached foam backing, Shaw T180 is the only recommended adhesive.
Use painter's tape to secure the nosing and finishing nails if desired as previously explained. If necessary, weight down the glued plank until the flooring adhesive has had a chance to cure.